The Lanka Tilaka Raja Mahavihara is located just 4 kilometers from the Pilimathalapa junction. The Lanka Tilaka temple is regarded as an outstanding architectural edifice and was built during the Gampola era. There are two approaches to the temple, one which requires a climb through a stone staircase and the other one gives you access through a motorable section. The history of the temple can be traced back to the 14th century. King Bhuvanak Bahu IV handed the responsibility of construction to his chief minister, Sena Lanka Dikara. The temple is unique in that it had an architect of South Indian origin, but has been noted by scholars to bear influences from the Pulon Narva era, Dravidian as well as Indo-Chinese architectural styles. The Vihara has been constructed atop the base of a large rock. The location offers sweeping views of the countryside and the king's entrance is visible through a direct pathway and stone door frame to the image house. The temple was originally thought to be four stories high, though now it's a three-level building. The outer walls of the temple are embellished with traditional Sinhalese sculptures and motifs. The entrance to the main image house has an impressive granite moonstone, facade and balustrade. The image house has a beautiful Buddha image surrounded by a dragon archway. The image house and its murals and sculptures are actually from a later period and credited to the Candian era. These murals are of nature and the lives of previous Buddhas and enhance the concept of Bodhi. On the temple premises adjacent to the main image house, there are a series of rock inscriptions. The carvings both in Singhala and Tamil mentions the various gifts bestowed to the temple by the kings of the time. The premises also have a representation of the Buddha's footprint. There are also five image houses around the temple which one can pay homage to various deities. The shape of the temple and adjacent buildings create the form of a cross and are a piece of outstanding architecture from almost seven centuries ago. Today the temple stands resplendent on the natural Pahangala rock and exemplifies the cultural heritage of the land and is a perfect representation of the architectural beauty of the Gampala era.